everyone, this is CY once again. Thank you for joining uh, my YouTube channel and uh, watching my videos. Uh, today I'm just going to do a follow up on my first video on the new declumper, which uh, uh, we have actually designed uh, using the PET firm and then using a PLA uh, 3D printed spacer to uh, create the spacing between the firm and the uh, exit chute. Um, for those of you that have ordered the first batch, right? I actually uh, pasted. Uh, oops. Okay, I actually pasted the uh, uh, a black color P, uh, PLA uh, spacer at the back of the wood color uh, spacer in front. And uh, some of my customers feedback to me that this is actually too thick. And uh, okay, if you have received um, this version, which is actually the first version, do, do, do not worry. What you can do very easily is actually uh, to remove the black color spacers at the back. And uh, to remove is actually very easy. You just have to use your fingernail, pry it slightly open, and then it is out. Right? So you can see uh, it can take out, and this is actually thick enough. Uh, and it will not be too thick when you try to install this spacer at the back of your uh, exit chute, right? So this should solve the, the problem whereby uh, some of the customer says that this um, front panel piece actually cannot be closed back properly. So uh, do not worry about this. Uh, that should solve the problem. And uh, the second update for this today's video is actually to show you uh, the condition of the coffee that is actually stuck behind the declumper of the original version versus the new declumper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the grinder again and to show you uh, the condition of the um, um, how much coffee actually stuck behind the declumper. Right, so that's actually the main goal of today's video. So you can see the three screws that hold the front panel is already off and you can see just now I tried to unscrew the collar slightly so that this thing can actually be moved out but before that there's one more uh, hex nuts that you have to take out which is actually the, the one that's inside here. Um, I will not show you in the camera but if you have the grinder you will know what I'm talking about and you have to use a 20 uh, mm wrench to actually unscrew so that uh, you can actually remove the button the LED uh, switch button to actually uh, control the on off button of your grinder. Okay, so basically that's it. It's quite simple to remove. And you can see this thing will slide out nicely. Okay, so right now there's two more screws that actually hold these two positions. So I'm just going to remove. Okay. So as you can see, there's definitely still a little bit of ground that's attracted to the declumper itself. Uh, but uh, there's still a little bit of coffee that's actually stuck behind. Probably I didn't uh, really bellow my grinder uh, well. But um, this building up of the coffee ground around the exit uh, is actually an inherent problem. So whether um, I think if you have a decomper installed, definitely there will be a coffee ground that builds up at the back. So this is an inherent problem of the design of the grinder. So you probably can't really totally get rid of this. I've been using this grinder for about seven days. And you can see that this is, and I use it quite often, every day. And you can see that this is the amount of build up I have. Um, so if you are 
if you if you do not want the coffee ground to build up um, so definitely you should try to clean take out the decomper and do some maintenance uh, weekly right so this is the amount of coffee ground that is going to uh, build up and you can see um, there's also some coffee that's built up here so this is where the coffee blows out and co goes down so the decomper actually allows the coffee to uh, to come out more easily and hence the top will have a build up but this build up is very very minimal right um, let me try to see how much coffee this actually built up so I'm going to zero this so I want to see how many grams of the coffee actually uh, retain behind Okay, currently it's about 0 0.1 gram so let me get a brush okay so let me place this on again okay the build up of the coffee around the shoot as well as on the decomper itself is about 0 0.2 grams of coffee so um, you can check your um, the clogging issue of the coffee ground around the exit shoot and see whether it actually improves your um, clumping uh, and also the uh, coffee that actually stay behind the the, the the clumper screen. So this is what we have for you today, and um, it definitely improved the uh, the it definitely make the make it easy for us to pull out the coffee but because this PD firm is still a piece of plastic so eventually you can see there's still some coffee that actually uh, attracted to the firm itself uh, but of course I think all these can be removed by bellow harder uh, and if you use this version you'll find that the bellowing is much much easier uh, you do not have the sudden release kind of feeling whereby when you pump hard and it, uh, the Suddenly, you feel like um, the entire the clumper actually go off, and then a lot of coffee ground actually comes out. You will not have that feeling because the original uh, the clumper is actually very very rigid. Uh, let me show you. This is actually from my customer's customer's machine. You can see that uh, it is actually very rigid. So the coffee you need to puff, you need to bellow quite a lot harder in order for the coffee to come out. So. Yep, okay, so this is pretty much uh, what we have for you today. Right, so um, I hope that this uh, helps to answer some of the questions from uh, all the DF64 uh, owners, uh, whether uh, this will be a good upgrade to actually um, uh, make the uh, decamping issue much better and uh, to retain lesser coffee after using for about one week. Um, I will not say that you will get rid of the coffee that's stuck behind the screen. There will still be uh, some coffee that's uh, built up behind. But um, as compared to my previous experience, right, um, if I have, uh, because the bellowing will allow more, most of the coffee to come out. And so if you try to bellow out uh, most of the coffee every time, right, you should have uh, lesser retention. But definitely there will still be some retention at the back. So. Thank you for watching and uh, this is CY, right? uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button and to like my videos and remember to ring the bell if you want to stay updated on all my future video release and um, thank you for watching and uh, stay safe, I'll see you in the next one.